Welcome back friends. In this video I'm going to show you how I created this very cool neon text. So stay tuned. All right, so I have a workspace here. It is a YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And uh, before we get dive right into the meats and potatoes, of this tutorial. I just want to ask you to, if you find any part of this video, if you learn anything, press that like button and subscribe. Uh, also, I've opened up my YouTube channel memberships where I go live every week and I give personalized help to my adult learners. So click that join button. There is a level for everyone. Okay. Anyhow, let's get right down to business. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to start by adding some text on my workspace and I'm going to double click in there and I'm going to change the word to neon and I'll have that in all caps. I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to make it a lot larger like this. And I'm going to change the font to League Spartan. Uh, we'll just change it up a little bit, right? Um, so now I'm going to grab that text and I'm going to change the color to a, a lime green. Now the neon effect is based on the color of the font. So my font color is lime green. If you change it to blue, then that neon effect will be blue, but I'm going to have it neon green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my customizer and I'm going to make it the brightest of the bright neon green. So I'm just going to take that color picker right up to the top, the top highest I can go. And I'm going to click that text and I'm going to go into effects. And down here we see neon. Now neon doesn't get a lot of love. Let me tell you, um, I can tell you I haven't used neon forever um, and I don't see it used often but it's a really cool effect so let's click on neon and this is what happens when we get or we click on that neon effect and over here there is a, a slider for intensity so if you slide that intensity down it makes the text fill more opaque. But if you move it towards the right, it makes the text fill more transparent and gives that glow effect on the outside. So right now we've got a white background. I'm going to change that background to black just so that you can see the difference in that effect. So I'm going to click that text again. I'm going to click on effects. And here is my neon. And again, here's the intensity and the intensity slider. So I'm going to slide this down. And you can see that the fill is uh, more opaque. And as I come all the way down, it's totally filled. But, and we're still getting that glow on the outside. So which one do you like better? Do you like this effect? Or do you like the effect with the fill? Let me know in the comments. Uh, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. This was really, really quick. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you in liked or learned anything in this video, press that like button and subscribe. For now, friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.